Hi guys and welcome back to day 31 of Inktober. So that is the final piece of this month of this huge project. I am so excited to be done, but I'm also very, very happy and proud that I've been able to make it through this entire month of getting a piece done every single day. It has been a huge undertaking, way more than honestly I anticipated before I started. But I, I would like to talk a little bit today about some of the things that I did learn about things from Inktober, but also things going forward and moving on. I, I think that this probably is the, the biggest single project that I've done in my career, in art, period, honestly, in my life. Um, well, minus my degree, but that's a lot of really small things that built up. But this one was a, so much time. It was so much time, which was absolutely wonderful for me because I have had all these projects that I would think about and want to make happen, but then I, I don't end up setting aside the time and I don't dedicate it and it feels a lot more of this this thing that I can't quite achieve yet. So, be, so being able to force myself, I guess, to follow through with this very specific goal and being able to see that I could achieve it it, it definitely feels like it's opening up doors for me, for me to be able to see, okay, I I could do this huge thing in this limited amount of time. What could I do, say, if I gave myself a couple months to get something done? Or, or I could spend more time really fleshing out the ideas and the concepts behind it. And I think that that is probably one of the most encouraging things I've gotten from Inktober is mostly it's just... It's reminded me that I am capable of doing these things. It just comes down to setting aside priorities, making sure that what I want to accomplish is is set up as something that I'm focusing on. And there, are, there are so many times where I let the day-to-day -day projects and the day-to-day -day ideas get in the way where it's like, okay, well, I have to get this done today and I really have to do this tomorrow, but they're all disconnected. And I find that for me personally, my biggest satisfaction comes from creating and finishing larger projects, larger groups of work. So this has helped me see that moving forward, I really want to focus on projects, not individual pieces, not necessarily really small little throwaway concepts or ideas, but I really want to start digging into creating worlds and characters and and stories with what I'm doing and create products like the book for Inktober, things that are just much more cohesive and together and they become much grander than the simple singular illustrations. And yeah, Inktober has really showed me that, that being able to work on this dedicated thing like that, that gave me so much energy. I felt so excited to accomplish it and to work on it and add to it. But yeah, working on this and working on so many different pieces has really helped me zero in on what type of piece I actually feel connected with and feel passionate about. So there have been a lot of pieces that I'm happy with, but the ones that I felt the most connected with and the most excited about were the ones that had much more of a story to them. They weren't necessarily just a pretty art piece. It was something where there was more happening in the background or the character I had thought them through a little bit more and they were interacting with things. Those pieces make me feel a lot more excited about the direction that I can go with them. Whereas the ones that were much more simple in concept, I felt way less connected with. So it was actually... It was really nice to be able to do that many pieces, 31 pieces where I could see how each different type of piece influenced me and how I felt affected by it and how I felt connected to them. And that really helped me start seeing a trend as far as what things I, I really do want to continue. So when I'm working normally, there's more space in between each piece and I can get really just hung up with the particular piece that I'm working on at that moment. Where this, it was just so fast from one to the next and I wanted them all to look good together. I was referencing past pieces. I was really starting to notice trends. And I do think this is something that's 
that's really extremely beneficial as artists to be able to look back at your work and analyze what things are working for you in your portfolio and what things are not and what things you want to do more of and what things you don't want to do anymore. And I... I didn't do that for the longest time. I haven't really been putting as much attention into where I want to grow from here outside of just the the technical aspect of it. So being able to look at this dedicated effort of creating new concepts and being able to analyze all of them together has been extremely helpful. I feel I feel like I've walked away with a lot more information on myself and how I create art than, than I thought I ever would. So I feel, I feel like I have a full arsenal of how to analyze my pieces going forward to make sure that they fit what I want to create the most. And honestly, one of the things that I also learned from this is something that there was no room for in October, but I realized that I have the most enjoyment in pieces when I have anticipation to work on it. When I have built up an idea and I have enough time between the conception of the idea and the completion of it that I can really focus on creating new challenges within it that I need to figure out how to fix and how to make the design as absolutely interesting as possible. And I think that I definitely miss that. Even in in before pre-Inktober pieces, I... I work on a schedule that just does not allow me to plan ahead of time, or at least I wasn't allowing myself to do that. And when I'm able to work on a piece slowly over time, I feel way more connected with it. I feel that excitement when I I figure out, oh, well, this is the missing piece. This makes this piece so much better. But when I'm working on such a short turnaround time. I don't have any time to think about these new details that I could add or better things that I could replace the things that are in the piece with. So I think that this is a good thing to remember as artists to analyze how we work best. And for me, how I work best is giving myself time to think it through and really plan out the idea. I find that when I do that, the concepts and the ideas for the pieces are always so much better and I enjoy them so much better. But when it's like down to the wire where I just need something to draw, it's just time to create a piece. They're not as good usually. It's usually more of a off chance or almost a fluke when they turn out the way that I hope that they would or the way that I, I could imagine my pieces being. So, so that is definitely something for me to remember to learn is that I need to start working on my pieces much more in advance and slowly over time rather than one last minute push to get it done. Anyways, I know that's a lot of rambling and a lot of just general overarching ideas, but but I do think that that's, that's something that I've really been able to take away from working on Inktober is that I've really been able to get a very compressed idea of how I work and how I connect with my work. And that has helped me to really analyze it and where I just had to get into like this zone of creating pieces it gave me a lot of time to sit there and think about about me and my future and what I want to do so I think that this is something that's really helpful for all artists to be able to take some time and figure out who they are what pieces they want to create what direction they want to go set goals for themselves I feel so empowered now to be able to move on into the next goal and take all this energy that I've been putting into October And put that into something new and something equally as exciting or more exciting. So so yeah, I just feel really positive moving from this onward. And a little bit about this piece. I I think that it's very representative of my general process in art and how I like to take the bad and make sure that it's a positive. Because this one, I think that I struggled with it a bit. I, I got to a point where it felt like it was not going to work and I'd have to start over. And I decided, okay, I can either start over now or I can give myself just a little bit of time and try this one design element out and see if it works and makes it into a piece that I think could work. And if it does, then that'll be awesome and I can work on it. And if it doesn't, then that's okay. I'm glad that I tried it and I can move on and start it again. And the design element that I ended up trying to incorporate was these white leaves. And I actually really like it. I... I do think, and again, this is something that I mention a lot throughout October, is it's an element that I really like 
And this is a little bit more of like a test drive of it. I think that I could really nail it in future pieces where I planned it out a little bit better and made sure that I had it really incorporated it into the design. But I'm happy with where this one ended up being. And I'm happy that I was able to see an effect that I really liked, even if it wasn't nearly as polished as I would have preferred. So, so all in all, this piece was very, again, representative of me being able to learn from my mistakes, hopefully, and catalog those and take the positives and remember, okay, how can I learn from both of those, from both the positives and the negatives of a piece. And that is it for all of Inktober this year. I am so happy to be able to have an actual physical project of this whole month. So so if you did want to own Illumina, which is the art book for all of my October pieces, there's a link in the description. We did actually just reach the second stretch goal over at Kickstarter. So if you want to go see what those freebies are that are included with all tiers that include a book in it, you can go check that out over there. And as always, I do have the original of this one available as well as lots of my other Inktober still available as well down in the link. There's a shop link in the description. There we go. And yes, I will be uploading on Friday. That is the YouTube Artist Collective piece, so stay tuned for that. I cannot wait. It's going to be Grimm's fairy tale themed. So yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.